Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this? What I have here is a new wooden puzzle from Unidragon. This is the same company that produces Quezzel, which we've looked at in the past. Uh, my family had such a good time with Quezzel, we wanted to check out one of their standard wooden puzzles. This is a king-sized puzzle, which is the second largest size puzzle they have. I have not seen this before, I have not opened it up. This is how it was shipped, so it's in shrink wrap and in a cardboard box. It was sent to me in a bubble mailer. So I do have to thank Unidragon for sending us this to check out after um, they're obviously happy with our, our Quezzel content. So the first thing I'm going to be opening tonight is this new wooden puzzle. I'm obviously not going to build it for you, but I will show off some of the pieces as well as how it's packaged and how everything looks. So here you have the box for a Unidragon. I like the term figured wooden puzzles It's because many of the pieces are shaped. And what we have on this side is some arrows and it was taped, which I cut. So we're going to open it based on this. There we go. And you can already see the wooden box inside. Oh, this continues to open. All right, that's nice. So here we have the box for Quezzle, which is a laser cut wooden box. Or sorry, not Quezzle, sorry. For this puzzle from Unidragon. The Majestic Wolf puzzle, and you can see, I was really impressed by this artwork on this, which is why we chose this puzzle. Uh, actually, my daughter picked out which one we were going to do. So one of the things I am gonna note, okay, better than Quezzle is this lock or is it taped on? Maybe this lid, no, it was just a little stuck. So these lids from Unidragon, just as a heads up, don't have any way to seal. So I can't pick it up by the lid. It just kind of sits on top. I will admit this one's pretty tight. So yeah, I can pick it up. But one of the things you have to worry about is storing it this way. Could be an issue. So we're going to pop this open. So this is a king size puzzle, which means it's 310 pieces. It is 30 by 41 centimeters or 11.8 by 16.1 inches, the final puzzle. There is a little introduction here, which uh, this side is not in English. There we go. Welcome to the Unidragon family. And there's a little uh, welcome from note from the CEO of Unidragon. Then we get to the actual box. And similar to Quezzle, it comes with this... Um, burlap sack, and then all the pieces in here that are very tiny. So there you have some of the pieces. What I'm going to try to find is one of the more unique pieces in these games. Because what Unidragon does is they tend to shape their puzzle pieces. Now that's not, a, that is a very unique shape. So you're not getting your standard jigsaw puzzle shapes. Um, there's one, found one. So here we have a sheep. And what I think is well done, too, is they have laser etched in some patterns on the back so you can like see the face and legs of the sheep. So along with our wolf, we have a sheep. So it's a sheep in wolf's clothing, I guess, in this case. Um, what I've always been very impressed with with theirs. Oh, this is cool. There's a Unidragon mirror in here. There, you're not going to be able to see it because it's reflecting the light back up. But it's the Unidragon logo, and it's a mirror. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if this will actually fit in the puzzle somewhere. Okay, I am going to turn off autofocus on my camera, so that stops happening. So again, here you have the mirror. This is a, a reflective mirror. You can see my hands reflecting in that. Very neat little piece, and it's a dragon cuddling around the puzzle piece, which is the Unidragon logo. Put that aside. Again, I'm going to try to find at least one more neat, unique piece in here. Uh, one of the things that I find is really impressive on these puzzles is how much the colors pop and the detail, like the level of detail. They are expertly cut. So what we have here is a bear. So we have a bear puzzle piece. And half the fun of these is discovering these unique shapes while you're building the puzzle, as well as after you're done the puzzle, letting someone else try to find all of these unique shapes. The other puzzles we've done from Unidragon have been fantastic for fit and function. The pieces slot in together beautifully. Maybe needing a little bit of nudging, but we never had to force a single piece. We've got some interesting looking wing piece here. That, there's a tip of an ear. One of the things I think is going to be difficult with this particular puzzle 
is the fact that it is not square and there are no square edges. Yeah, so there are a number of these leaf pieces. So there's obviously a motif in here of leaves, because we have found there's a leaf, here's another leaf. So there are a number of leaf pieces mixed in. And I got something here that definitely has some kind of icon on it. I have no idea. Oh, uh, is it a snail? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. And maybe someone can guess. If you know what this is, you can post that in the comments, because I'd love to know what you think this is. Is it someone riding a bike? It seems to have eyeballs on it. So anyway, half the fun, finding the pieces. The other part, of course, is building a beautiful looking puzzle. We got a little bonus mirror in here, and I am going to cheat. You can see if there's anything underneath. It doesn't appear to be anything underneath. For anyone who has finished Quezzle, you might know why I did that. So here you have it. What you get, we'll open it up one more time so you can kind of see it. Inside the box for the Majestic Wolf wooden jigsaw puzzle or wooden laser cut puzzle from Unidragon. Unfortunately, I kind of shifted everything up and I can't get the lid to stay here. So we're going to shake it up to get everything flat. Throw this back on. Throw this lid on. Trying to get the lid in the right place. It's not always the easiest. So yeah, as it is, this actually won't even stand up straight to the lid fit. So I, I just find an odd choice by them. That it, uh, personally, I would like a latch or something that holds these closed. You know what, stacking them like this, though, from what I know, the people I know that have built these, they've all glued them together in the end and put them up on a wall, leaving the unique pieces available for people to pull out. So there you have it, what you get inside the box for the Majestic Wolf Puzzle from Unidragon Games, a laser cut wooden puzzle that looks fantastic. Um, extremely well cut laser pieces with some really neat and unique shapes met into the puzzle. This is something that my family really enjoys doing, and we're looking forward to checking out this latest puzzle from Unidragon. And now it does stand up straight, but as I said, these the lids in these do not stay on. There's, there's nothing holding it in place. So you want to store these flat if you decide to put your puzzle back together. So that's it for my look at my latest Unidragon puzzle. Thanks again, Unidragon, for sending that for us to check it out. This is going to be the biggest, most difficult puzzle we've done from Unidragon. If you want to find out how that turns out, turn in to tune in to the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast or visit tabletopbellhop.com or follow me on social media as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, because I'm sure I'll be sharing my thoughts about this puzzle as we play it and complete it. Though it won't be me playing this time. This one's for my wife and my oldest daughter. I'll be enjoying this one. That's it for this unboxing. Thank you for joining me. Good night and game on.